Hello everyone and welcome to the channel or welcome back to the channel. In this video, we are going to talk about the smart and wise so-called black women that actually gets it. I know that I talk a lot about the women that are lost in this world with no understanding. But this video is about the intelligent women that understands that loose, fallen harlots are not the favor, but the virtuous woman is always in season. So let's talk about it and don't forget to subscribe to the channel, comment, like and share the video, it's free. Who can find a virtuous woman for her price is far above rubies. Wise women know this verse, understands this verse, and lives her life by this verse. Not the verses of wicked songs that are sung by wicked harlots and whores. Reasonable women do not have foul mouths, but she opens her mouth with wisdom, and in her tongue is the law of kindness. She looks well to the ways of her household and eat not the bread of idleness. She understands that favor is deceitful and beauty is vain. But a woman that fears the creator of the heavens and the earth shall be praised. She is stylish. She does not wear clothes that makes her look sick, dysfunctional, and ignorant. She does not want to be looked at as classless with no self-esteem. She knows that the whoredom of a woman may be known in her haughty looks and eyelids. Bright women do not want the type of attention that comes from wearing these type of clothes. Women understand that. Wearing these type of clothes does not bring them self-worth. Our women realize that half-naked dressing is for the wicked and unrighteous. She is clothed with strength and dignity. She can laugh at the days to come. She speaks with wisdom and faithful instruction is on her tongue. She watches over the affairs of her household and she does not eat the bread of idleness. Black women are clever. They refuse to be brainwashed by these wicked movies, television shows, and commercials. The tricks of the unrighteous does not work on her. She does not want to be a part of this wicked world. She is not conformed to this world, but she is transformed by the renewing of her mind, that she may prove what is good and acceptable and perfect will of the Most High. She does not want to be looked at as a hot girl, independent, or boss chick, but as a virtuous woman with a gentle and quiet spirit, she knows that this type of woman is precious in the Most High sight. She is humble and not aggressive, she controls her emotions. She understands that being peaceful is not a weakness, rather it is putting into use the feminine power that the creator of the heavens and the earth bestowed upon her. When the father created her, she is not ashamed to acknowledge that she only wants to be a good wife and a good mother. She is discerning, she does not want a man for his money and worldly possessions, but for his knowledge and wisdom from the creator of the heavens and the earth. She understands that he is her path to the Father. Quick-witted women can see that being a harlot is not cool but foolish. A harlot shall be accounted as spittle, but a married woman is a tower against death to her husband. She understands that she is a part of a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, and holy nation, a peculiar people, and she praises the Most High for calling her out of darkness into his marvelous light. Sharp-witted women want to be married to a quality man that knows the Most High. She wants to be a crown to her husband, by being discreet, chaste, a keeper at home, good, obedient to her husband, she is shamefaced, and she fears the creator of the heavens and the earth. She understands that a shameless woman will be counted as a dog. She wants to be a blessing to her husband. She knows that the grace of a wife delights in her husband and that a silent and loving woman is a gift from the Most High. She is wise, the heart of her husband is safe with her, she will do him good and not evil all the days of her life. She will never divorce her husband because she knows that the Most High did not give her that right. She understands that marriage is honorable in all and the undefiled, but whoremongers and adulterers the Most High will judge. She knows that a dishonest woman contempt shame, but an honest woman will reverence her husband. She is knowledgeable, not slanderous, but she is sober and faithful in all things. She does not back talk her husband, but she submits to him. She aims to make her husband's life better. She does not chase degrees and careers. She builds her house. She does not pluck it down with her hands. She understands that blessed is the man that has a virtuous wife for the number of his days shall be double. That a virtuous woman brings joy to her husband and he shall fulfill the years of his life in peace. A good wife is a good portion which shall be given in the portion of them that fear the most high. Quick-witted women can see that being a harlot is not cool, but foolish. A harlot shall be accounted as spittle, but a married woman is a tower against death to her husband. She understands that she is a part of a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, and holy nation, a peculiar people, and she praises the Most High for calling her out of darkness into his marvelous light. The astute women are not teaching their children to love themselves, they are teaching their children to love the Creator of the heavens and the earth. 
She trains up a child in the way he should go, so when he is old, he will not depart from it. She teaches her young daughter so that they be in behavior as becoming holiness. Not false accusers, not given to much wine, teachers of good things. She does not send her children out into this world to be taught by the enemies to learn their wicked lies and customs. She is resourceful to know the time that now it is high time to awake out of sleep. For now is our salvation nearer than when we believe. The night is far spent, the day is at hand. Let us therefore cast off the works of darkness and let us put on the armor of light. The smart women are waking up. They are following the laws, statutes, and commandments. They see that the world is changing. They have husbands or they are looking for one that fears the Most High. They can feel that the world, as we know it, is coming to an end. So I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, leave a like and a comment. And if it is your first time on the channel, don't forget to subscribe, comment, like, and share the video. Until next time.